Good morning again. Week two. Good for you. Week one is done. You only have four more weeks to go. Final exam. You're there. Um, so my hat's off to you. One week done already. Um, first thing I want to mention, um, you have weekly commentaries. Uh, those were introduced in your introductory material, but I, I want to remind you, I think they are very helpful to read. Um, in these weekly commentaries, uh, I kind of review the prior week's work, um, clarify any um, kind of common slips I, I see that students made. Um, often, I use students work and put it in that commentary because I think sometimes it's helpful for students to actually read what another student has posted kind of you know puts things in a little different perspective than the just the instructions so do read those weekly commentaries uh, I think they will clarify uh, for you um, the prior week's material pretty well if however after reading these commentaries, you still have questions about anything introduced in the previous week, please, please, please text or call and we'll try to clarify that for you. This week, uh, you will tackle your longest short story and some students go, this is a short story. Um, it is uh, still in the genre of a short story. E.M. Forster. It was written in 1909, and I think you need to keep that in mind while you're reading it. It's actually fairly prophetic, uh, and I think he's making a valid point for us to consider today, certainly. I, I want to um, suggest, if at all possible, that you print out your pieces of literature. Research has proven that reading comprehension goes up um, when reading from a printed page in front of you uh, versus uh, reading uh, on the screen. So that's, I think, a worthwhile suggestion. Uh, you do have a little scholarly article posted just underneath um, your story in electronic text. Please read that. Um, it's very short and kind of will give you an easy introduction, I think, to database research. We'll, we will be looking at when we get to our research paper this semester. Uh, it's a nice little introduction to such. Um, you have a drop box assignment and you have a discussion post. Both of those relate to different aspects of the machine stops. Uh, you have quite a few questions uh, to answer in your drop box on this story. I would suggest, uh, even though it's a long story, uh, this is basically it for this week. This story um, I would suggest reading it more than once, uh, really letting it sink in. Also, as noted in your introductory materials, sometimes just a real quick, plain old Google, um, put in the title of a story and add the word analysis, and, and you get some easy input. Uh, this would not be valid to use in a research paper, but it can sure, certainly be helpful um, just in maybe understanding some point uh, of confusion. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, oh, oh. Um, yeah, this is a research course, so we're going to do a little introductory assignment to MLA research. Uh, the research librarian at AC, Emily Gilbert, has put together two fairly short videos uh, to kind of cover some aspects of MLA. She has embedded questions into those videos. Um, they do feed to the grade book, so as you're watching these videos, uh, please keep that in mind and, and you know, uh, pay attention uh, so your grade is good. Let's see. Um, oh, one other comment. I had a student ask if she could work ahead in this course. Yes, uh, by all means, go right ahead. Uh, if you can digest the material and get a little bit ahead, never hurts. Um, hope you had an okay first week and hope this week goes well for you. I, I'm really, really glad that several of you did text. I had a phone call. Please keep that up. If you get stuck, I don't want you out there in, in cyber space land um, drowning. Sometimes just a real short text or call can be very helpful. Keep in touch. Have a good week. Go. Bye.